Studies show that couples who live together and sleep together may not actually stay together. And by studies, we mean Cameron Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> this term is, I guess, uh, coined uh, sleep divorce. Sleep divorce. Yes. Yeah, I was doing a little bit of homework and this popped up. We should normalize separate bedrooms. Um, to me, I would literally, I have my house, you have yours. We have the family house in the middle. I will go and sleep in my room. You go sleep in your room. I'm fine. After a while, you probably want your space. You want a little bit of distance, but maybe a separate room. I think the different home is uh, in this economy. Yeah, <laughs> you can even afford one home. You need me two homes? Tonight, I'll have the kids, and then you can have the kids and maybe sleep with you if you're small and give the partner some time to kind of like get some actual sleep, especially when they're in that age where they wake up at night a lot. You know, I'm not saying they have to be like infants, but when they're a little bit older, but they're still very dependent. Studies show that couples who live together and sleep together may not actually stay together. And by studies, we mean Cameron Diaz. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so apparently Cameron Diaz is claiming that uh, healthy marriages should include some form of uh, separation when it comes to uh, sleeping and having separate homes where it's normal. Uh, it should be normalized for people to kind of sleeping together uh, separate. Correct, yes, yeah. which this term is, I guess, uh, coined uh, sleep divorce. Sleep divorce. Yes, yeah, I was doing a little bit of homework and this popped up. And yeah, she, so she goes on she, and she says, we should normalize separate bedrooms. Um, to me, I would literally, I have my house, you have yours, we have the family house in the middle. I will go and sleep in my room, you go sleep in your room, I'm fine. And we have the bedroom in the middle that we can convene in our relations. What do you think about that? Um, cause you know, I brought it up with my, yeah. my senorita yeah, yeah, yeah. and she's like, that's weird. But she also sent me a video. It was like a TikTok or a reel or whatever on Instagram. Excuse me. And it was about a couple. And I think that she wasn't sure about their profession, but it was one of those, like some days he works late and then wakes up early. And then the other one like has like the night out. I think it was like nursing maybe that they were doing. Okay. 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 So just think of like the opposite schedules where it's like, okay, look, we don't always sleep in separate bedrooms. We always sleep in the same bedroom, but there will be some nights depending on our schedules that I'll go and sleep by myself in the other bedroom. Right. Not exactly like, Oh, you're in the dog house and Oh, you, you're not sleeping in the bed tonight. It's more so of like, Hey, this is just going to make our sleep better in order for us to have a more productive, more energized day. Yeah. I can see but that. Yeah. That's the controversy. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. the couples are, she looks at me like, hmm, I don't know if I like that. <laughs> so <laughs> I could see her right, saying yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, well, I made, I made this similar case to, to, to my girlfriend, and she was totally against it. She's like, no way. Like, that's weird. That's, that's just kind of like, I wouldn't want to be me. But then again, you also have to understand we've been dating for what, less than three years. 10, 15, 20 years down the line, she might think differently. Of maybe of course it's weird now because we just started dating. We don't even live together oh, okay. officially. Yeah, but that's like with everything. Yeah, but that's, what, can always change. but that's what no, but what I'm saying is that marriage, if you're thinking long term, if you're thinking forever, it's a long time to be living with somebody. After a while, you probably want your space. You want a little bit of distance. And then not maybe not necessarily in the different home. But maybe a separate room. I think the different home is uh in this economy. Yeah, <laughs> you can even afford one home. You need me two homes. <laughs> but this is obviously like you know celebrity. Problems, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? of course. But of at course. least for us, I guess separate bedrooms. You separate know, so we're not sleeping in the same bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not against the idea. I don't think it's a terrible idea. Um, but it would only if if, there, if it were something like that. You know, in terms of like our scheduling. However, maybe in the future. Like, have you ever felt, like, moments that you're like, well, the thing is that she doesn't live here. She doesn't full live time, here. Right? Full time. I mean, like, a job. <laughs> <laughs> soon. Soon she will. Right. That's the plan. Right, right, so she plan. does it. So I guess you do have a little bit of that longing space. Yeah, because I'm thinking about it because, like, I live with my senorita. And there, there's some nights that I'll stay at my parents' like, depending on my schedule where I work and things yeah. like that. If I have to wake up early and I'm around here. Um, but, and she gets a little bit salty. She's just like gonna sleep here <laughs> whenever she gets inside even though like i have to be like in doral like probably yeah, you know yeah, like yeah, yeah. super early but um like, I, I don't know i don't know uh there, there's there's not much time for us that we're apart so now i'm thinking man maybe i can know because even then like i like coming home to her right i love spending time with my girl but to your point it's probably now maybe in the future maybe down the line mm -hmm. uh Maybe you want a little bit of space, you know? Maybe you want to go to sleep. And again, it comes to your schedule. Like, even for me, there's times when we, we she spends the night, and I say if I have to wake up at 5 o'clock in the morning because I have to go to work, 
you know, imagine on a consistent basis, maybe you need a little bit of a separation where you can not interfere with each other, each, each other's sleeping patterns and schedules. Right. I can see that. And, and that's kind of, so then um, I, I kept reading this article that it popped up yeah. and it's, um, you know, often called sleep divorce, sleeping separately from a spouse might, se- might, it might sound like a red flag at first, which I think, you know, initially you're like, why? Right. Only if people don't want to be with each other yeah. is when they, right? And then it's, but after all, the bedroom is more than just a place where we sleep and make love. The marital bed is also a time-honored symbol for our very union. And then it goes, when couples sleep separately, um, sleeping together can often lead to us not sleeping. (laughs) So that's the issue. So for example, if your partner snores, your sleep might be heavily disturbed, even if you don't realize it. A snoring partner can disrupt your sleep cycle multiple times an hour, preventing you from getting into that deep restorative REM sleep that is essential for our brain and bodies. Um, let's see over the temperature and blankets. So maybe like we just don't have like you want to sleep when the room is really, really cold, and maybe I like yeah. it when it's really, really hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then how do you compromise in the bed? Uh for me, it made a lot of sense when it comes to like just early scheduling. So imagine if she just like she finished a wedding and super really like late. It's like midnight when she comes back. And then I have to wake up, for example, like at five in the morning or some shit. Like I would like for that, I'd be like, listen, sleep in the room, I'll sleep in the other one. But I can't see her accepting that. No way. <laughs> she would not. She would. And sometimes it's nice when you're sleeping and, you, and, and your partner comes late home, you know, like and they come and they cuddle you and they snuggle you and they're like, oh, fuck. Good to, see, good to have you here. So I guess it just depends. But I, I, I don't like this whole blanket statement of like, oh, that's unhealthy. That's bad for you. Like, it's not a, entirely a red flag. I don't think so. Maybe not. Maybe, a, a, what is it, a beige flag? <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that a flag? I don't think it's a flag, though. Could be one. Could be. Let's wave that's the beige good. flag. Coffee flat. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we should ask the audience and see what they think. Maybe it has worked for some people. Funny enough, my grandparents, my grandfather used to snore like a maniac. And so my grandma, she couldn't she couldn't take it anymore. So she would move her stuff, like she would they would sleep in the same they would lay in the, in the same bed in the bedroom, in the master bedroom, and she would read and my dad would my grandpa would watch TV, whatever, and then when it was time to go to sleep, she would get up, get take her book, walk across the hallway and go into her own into her separate room. And that's where she would sleep. And she did it for years. The last years, they did it. And it worked for them. You know, it worked for them. Did, did, did anyone ever question or is was there any no, explanation no, for it? Well, you guys just accepted it? Or yeah, because she would say like, oh, like he, he snores. And it's, it, 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 was that up. Bad. it was really that bad. And he didn't want to do any other, you know, surgery or anything like that. And at that point, I don't even know if they had anything like that. And this was years ago. But so it was it worked for them. So that 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 kind of like goes to, into that, that argument. It's like. If it messes up with your sleep, if there's snoring involved, heavy snoring, and I don't think there's anything wrong. Because they would still be together in the bedroom, reading, talking, and all that stuff. But when it came to, came to sleeping, she would just walk across the hallway with her book or her magazine and <laughs> close the door, and that's it. <laughs> so it could work. Man, you know, w- with that, using that as a reference, I mean, if you think about it, what happens when you're sleeping? Like, wh- what are you and your partner doing when you're sleeping? Sleeping. Exactly. You know, so does it really matter where you sleep? Because it okay, very similar to how 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 you're th- they were, how they were doing. It, yeah, yeah. Where it's in the sense of, hey, like let's get in bed and watch a movie together. You know, let's hang out, talk. Oh my god, it's time for bed. Okay, let's turn off all the lights. I'll go this way. You yeah. go that way. And sometimes maybe one partner doesn't want to go to sleep yet. What if I want to go to sleep? My partner wants to keep watching the movies. Then it's like, you know, because that happens sometimes with us. It's like well, I want to go to sleep. And then I'm like, yo, let's, let's go to sleep. And she's like, oh, you know, I'm not tired yet. And then, so what is a compromise? So in, a, in an ideal world, you might have a separate room where if you want to go to sleep, you can go to sleep. If you want to watch TV, you can watch TV. So, you know, I'm, I'm interested to see what the audience thinks. But also next next month, we have Dr. Hissi. Maybe we can ask him, you know, what he thinks because he has more experience. He's been married for decades. Maybe he sleeps in a separate uh, <laughs> bedroom at night. I don't think yeah, so. You, you can ask but him. But maybe, but maybe. We'll ask him. We'll put a pin on it. But uh, we'll have to hear what people think. Well, if you are thinking about it, apparently there's um there's some pointers, I guess, of what it, what it is that you could do. Uh, it says here in the article, first, if you're going to make the move to separate bedrooms, you need to sit down and have an intentional discussion. Make sure you're both in agreement and that neither of you feels abandoned or unwanted. Next, figure out when and how you will have intimacy. Right? Okay. When will you lay together and cuddle? When will you make love? You don't have to sit and schedule it weeks in advance, but you do need to consider it. Will you still cuddle each night before you go off to separate beds? Will you wake each other up for intimacy when there is time? <laughs> Will you still have date nights once or twice a week in which you share a bed? 
Finally, use this as a chance to recommit to your love life. Sefer Bedrooms gives you a chance, gives you the chance to be more intentional about your intimacy. It can be exciting to sneak into each other's rooms when the kids are asleep or to surprise your partner with a night of passion when they least expect it. And best of all, you will both be well rested and have plenty of energy. Too bad. I also saw a video that it, they talked about that exactly. Where they're like, we have our own two separate bedrooms where we'll have like almost like sleepovers in a sense. Where it's like if I want to just go over to yeah. her place, you know, yeah. I get to go over to her place if I need my own space. or like Think about it almost as if you have like a man cave or an office. Imagine yeah. if you're able to have like a Murphy bed in here, yeah. right? And then you're always working and maybe like, you know, you're on the computer editing, whatever the fuck it is. Yeah. And she's probably doing her own thing. It's like you have your office and like you just knock out here, you know? And then... <sighs> It's like, oh, okay, well, I'm done here. Hey, I'm going to go hang out with you. Like, okay, yeah. I'm going to sleep over your place tonight. So then you go, and then you, all, you you also create that, like, sense of longing, that little bit of distance where you're like, man, like, you get excited now when you want to, like, sleep with them and, and see them again because you don't have them all the time. That was, like, the video. I like how that. They I like that. that. I like that. Also, after you've been together for a while, that could be, like, a playful way of, you know, like, st- you know, engaging in, in a date, you know, a date night, staying at home, watching a movie. You make popcorn and bring it over. Or maybe the, you, like, fix your place yeah, up a little yeah. bit. You know, upgrade some yeah, things yeah. as a surprise. And you're like, hey, I want you to come over. I have a surprise. And, and check like, it out. you yeah, got a yeah, nice yeah. and shit. You know, especially if there's kids involved, too. I could see that tonight I'll have the kids. And then you can have the kids and maybe sleep with you if they're small. And give the partner some time to kind of, like, get some actual sleep. Especially when they're in that age where they wake up at night a lot. You know, I'm not saying they have to be, like, infants. But when they're a little bit older, but they're still very dependent. You know, uh, I talked to a lot of parents, and it's like, bro, I, ca- I can't get any sleep. So it's like, what's the point of none of us getting any sleep when we could just kind of like switch it up? Maybe one night you get more, you get to sleep. I take the kids. Next night we switch it up, or whatnot. You know, that might be something that's feasible for some parents. So it, it, you know, I, I'd be open to that. You gotta, you gotta look into these things. And if you have the space, you know, yeah, I think kinda, that might be a good. Kind of reminds me of the way that I remember Andre from yeah Zoom, Zoom, Zoom. yeah, yeah, that how he kind of structured it with his children where he's like. The girls got the the kids to like. Yeah. I'm just focused on this, 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 this. That way, when I have the kids, it's all like whatever. I'm like fully invested in. Mm, so yeah. it's in a way where instead of you kind of just trying to work things together and find the balance, it's like we create the balance by you going all in, and I'm going all in. Yeah. So we're both there. Yeah. But if we're both trying, if we're both trying to, sure we can. But if we're both going and trying to invest as much time in it as, as possible, it's still balance. Yeah. It works whatever works for you. Yeah, whatever works for you. Like that. Yeah. So this is advice, or I guess a topic coming from two people who live in basically uh, one bedroom apartments. <laughs> so we're here talking about oh, it's like a bedroom. Uh, yeah, bro, I wish. <laughs> True, actually. Yeah. So take everything with a grain of salt. But hey, let us know what you think down below. Let us yes. know, uh, you know, what your thoughts are. If maybe you'd consider sleeping in a separate bedroom or sure. in this whole separate house. <laughs> if you you're gonna, gonna buy that, that, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. it's economy. I don't know. Um, but more so, yeah, uh, maybe you've already done it. Like maybe you've been thinking about it. Or maybe people who are watching it have already been doing it. Hey, let us know if it's worked for you, or if you've uh, tried to bring up the conversation and see how it goes. <laughs> let us know. All right, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Talk Talk next time. Bye.